Good morning, beautiful people, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. Today, we are going to be painting a rainbow love heart. Now, rainbow is one of my favorite things to paint, and I just don't do it enough. I have seen these done all over social media, and I've been wanting to give it a try for a while. So, I haven't done this too many times. You're going to have to bear with me, but watch, and hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Okay, let's give this a try. So I'm using a dry brush for each new color and I'm also using a cloth to help dry off my brush after I rinse it. Blending can take a little bit of practice and to be honest I still haven't perfected it as you will see in this video. The first coat is always the trickiest to get but once you kind of have your first layer down you can always go back and fix up any mistakes that you make on the second and maybe even third layers. So don't stress about it too much if you haven't got your colors exactly where you want them to be on that first layer. When you're first starting, I think it's easier if you use a dry brush to try and blend the colors together. So as you can see with these first three colors, I've kind of kept them quite separate as I've done the first base color. And then I go back with a dry brush and try and blend the two lines together. I just find that that works so much easier and it blends so much faster. If I went back with a wet brush that had too much water on it, then it would just go all over the place and take so much longer to do. Also, be aware that you don't have too much paint. So I put down way too much paint at the beginning of this video and now I have excess that I'm trying to get rid of. So this is another paintbrush that I'm using. I have two different ones of that type of paintbrush. No idea what that type of paintbrush is called actually. Uh, I will list the brushes and sizes in the description below so make sure you check that out. I'll also list the brand of paint and the colors that I'm using down in the description below. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and if there's any tutorials that you would like me to do for you also let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for new ideas okay so you can see I've made a little bit of a mistake with that blue I've put it across further than I wanted it to be and now I have hardly any green there so I'm going to put a little bit more green down and just try and widen that strip which will then minimize the amount of yellow that I have and this is why blending takes so much practice so now I have a new brush a dry brush and I've just tried to blend it in a bit and I'm happy with how that looks for now I'm going to go back and fix it up when I do my second layer after all of this first layer is completely dry and here we go with our purple definitely going to need to do another color another layer on top of that purple because it is really thin and transparent yay it's coming together pretty well how's yours looking and how are you finding this tutorial am I going too slow am I giving instructions okay please feel free to leave me any feedback um, so I can better my skills and deliver better content for you guys because I am always looking to better my skills. So now I'm just going back and fixing up a few little things on my colors. Then I'm gonna leave this for a couple of hours to, to dry before I add my second coat. And now it's time to do our second coat. So this time I am using a paint tray. I do suggest putting your paint in a paint tray, which is what I should have done in the beginning because I had way too much excess paint left over. But anyway, that's all good. Make sure you wash off your paintbrush thoroughly in between each color and make sure you dry off the excess water completely from your paintbrush. I find using a dry brush works 10 times easier if you have excess water as I said before it makes your colors mix way too much and they'll all be mixed in together if that makes sense so make sure you dry your paintbrush off and we're all done I hope you enjoyed the video